All right, all right. L-D-W-M-M-A-C. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. <laughs> God, dog, y'all. You know, this week in MMA, this has been like the gift that just keeps on giving. Okay, I mean, they've been giving us a lot of ammunition, and we've been taking our shots. I'm telling y'all, man, it, it, it's almost like this week, it's like all the higher-ups in MMA, they just decide to, to just be dumb this whole week, okay? So you got this this idiot, this idiot racist, Brendan Schaub, okay? So he comes out, and he's, you know, he's taking backlash, okay, about UFC in China, taking a lot of backlash. So he came out, and he said, I don't give a F about the women's strawweight division. Now, I don't care who you are. If you are a journalist, a, a, a newscaster, podcaster, commentator, fan, it don't matter. Okay, you are an idiot if you cannot even recognize that the women's strawweight division got more smoke in that division than any other division in women's MMA. If you can't acknowledge that that's probably the toughest division uh, to, to eat in, then you suck. And, of course, this guy, he's shown time and time again why he sucks so much, okay? This guy, I mean, he, he sucks as a newscaster, okay? He probably sucked as a boyfriend. That's probably why Ronda Rousey got rid of him. Okay, the guy just sucks, man. And, and you know, he's a, he's, he's a simp. He was simping out to Kayla Harrison. Kayla Harrison shut this dude down in all points of their little interview, man. This guy's a simp, and the guy's an idiot, man. You, you know, let, let's really get on Brendan for a while. I mean, man, you got to be, what, 36, 37? Okay, you still dress like you a 15-year-old skater, dude. You got a skater haircut. Okay, I mean, it's like Brendan Schaub is in this perpetual youth that he just won't grow the hell up, okay? He's in a perpetual youth. Like, seriously, man. You know, the guy remind me of just a, a surfer dude. He remind me of a dang on surfer dude that's out there. And that's how he dress. That's how he dress, man. It's like this guy got stuck in a, a slick top time machine. He got stuck in a damn slick top time machine, man. God, dog. This is the epitome of what you don't want to be. Brendan Schaub is, you know, he's one of just, he's just a bonehead, man. The guy say some of the most dumbest stuff, man. And it's like, dude, have you been getting punched in the head? Because you sucked as a fighter. So I don't, I don't even know why he even making comments. This dude sucked as a fighter. He sucked. He said some of the most dumbest things in the sport of MMA. And I, I might I even have to give him that award, man. I might got to give him this award. First, it was him and Area Hawani. They was running neck and neck. Now, nah, Area Hawani don't have anything on this guy. Okay, at least Area Hawani, you know, I can say he's conducted some good interviews from time to time. But this guy, I, I, you know what? The food truck diaries, I need to call it the simp. Okay, the simp truck diaries. Because uh, that's all he do is he, he's simping. When women on there, this man simps. Okay, he simps very hard. And I, and I sat back and I said, man. This guy already, man, he just say a lot of reckless stuff, man. Because, you know, before UFC China, he was talking about, oh, yeah, the women's strawweight division is one of the most decorated divisions, and it's a great division, and blah, blah, blah. And to, then he went to, well, I don't give a F about the women's strawweight division. You know, could it be because maybe it was somebody, he, uh, two people he didn't like. He don't care much for a fight. I mean, Jessica Andrade and Zion Lee. You know, it, it's really, isn't it kind of funny, man? See, I done told y'all about this guy. I've told y'all, and I've sat back on these videos, and I've told y'all about this guy. I told y'all about him, y'all. I told y'all. Isn't it kind of funny, man? He got something negative to say when it's Andre and Jean Wally. Like, isn't that funny? All these other strawweight bouts, all these other strawweight championships, when Rose, Bojangle check, Okay, when they fought, you ain't hear nothing out of Brendan Schaub except, yeah, the strawweight division is a great division. But as soon as Jessica Andrade and, and Willie Jean fight, and probably in a very impressive win by Willie Jean, extremely impressive. What? I mean, you want to throw uh, salt on the net? What? I, I, I'm not, I don't give a F about the women's strawweight division. That was probably one of the biggest wins, and I think Willie Jean had one of the fastest knockouts. In women's MMA history, not just in the UFC, one of the fastest knockouts in MMA history. And this guy, the only thing, criticism he got is, I don't give a F about the women's strawy division. See, man, he did this on purpose. Had that have been Joanna, had that have been Rose, he, you know, he'd have never said anything. 
he would have never said anything. And it's just like, you know, when Fox had that all-black broadcasting panel, okay, he the only one. Out of all these people that commentate, out of all these people, you know what, it's even dumb YouTube channels that didn't say anything about the all-black broadcasting. Dude, this is the only guy that said it, man. This guy right here. This guy. Are you serious? And now he gonna criticize? He gonna criticize this fight? Now, when I tell you that I criticized the fight, yeah, I said Jean Wally didn't deserve a title shot. That's what I said. But after the fight was over, I gave her her props. Now, I still don't think that Jean Wally deserves to be pound for pound number four. I, I no, I don't agree with that. But I did not go and diminish, okay, what this fight, what she did in the fight. I didn't do that. This guy decides to go and diminish what Jean Wally did, and that's wrong. Okay, if you're in the count of anything on MMA, and if you clearly don't acknowledge the strawweight division, then you you, you about as stupid as you look. And this guy looks very stupid. So I, I can't even think that there's a complete brain cell, or you know, this guy probably got the IQ of a possum. And I think a possum, that's probably insulting the possums, because I think the possum piss, the possum piss is more intelligent than this guy. Like if y'all ever hear this guy talk for longer than five minutes, it's like you get irritated. You get very, very irritated because it's like so much, so much idiocy comes out. And it's like you, you, you have to wonder, what is he going to say next? Like you really listen to this guy because you're thinking, what is he going to say next? What is he going to say next? Amazing. Amazing. Okay. You fail in your life as an MMA fighter. You fail as Ronda Rousey's boyfriend. You failed in these ventures. Okay. And you still living off Ronda Rousey's name. You still trying to use her name, you know, to, to keep your name relevant. And, and I hear you. You fail at that. Okay, I mean, you, you know, you, you're failing at the Simp Truck Diaries. You, you're doing all of this. Well, when he put men on there, he does well. But with the women, he, just, he drops a bombshell. All of this, and then you criticize one of the biggest fights of the year. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Unfreaking believable but I guess they gotta have stupid people. They, 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 they gotta have somebody dumb like him. Because people like me gotta keep talking about how really just, <laughs> you know, you never stop shaking your head when it comes to this guy. You never stop. You just don't. Like, and it's almost like it need to be illegal for this guy to possess a microphone. Like it needs to be completely illegal for this guy to even say anything on a microphone like they need to cut his microphone off when something dumb comes out they need to it's just what it is <laughs> god dog man what do y'all think about this man okay what do you think about destroyed division and what do you think about him criticizing this fight he picked this fight to criticize are you guys starting to see a pattern with this guy are y'all starting to see a pattern? Are people, are, are y'all finally going to say, Coach, you was right, man. You was right about this guy. Okay. Say it.